Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Aunt Becky. I'm Daniel. I'm Pop Pop. I'm Matt. I'm Kelly. And we're some of the veggie boys. And I'm girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because we can grow a lot of stuff on the farm, but one thing we can't grow is this channel without your help. What are we baking over here? Baking. You're doing some baking? What are we baking over here? Apple dumplings. Oh, are you helping with apple dumplings? Yeah. Yeah, you got your dough. Look at this. This is professional. Mm, my yeah, look at that. Your cutlery. <laughs> Get your butt over there. Get going. What are you doing out? Welcome back everyone. It's so nice to see you. We've been flying through morning chores this morning. We just about have the animals all taken care of. We got the farm market all set up and I guess apple dumplings are being made. I'm currently in one of our largest greenhouses just looking at the assortment of mums that we have available. You'll see all this open table here. That was full yesterday. So um, yeah, we've been moving through them pretty quick. The goal is to try and get this greenhouse cleared out as soon as possible because that's one less thing we'll have to worry about. It is going quickly, but once they're all out of here, it's just like another thing that we don't have to worry. I was just walking through and seeing what colors we had available. I have a feeling that by the weekend, this thing's gonna be even closer to being empty. Now, some of you may be curious, what do we have scheduled for today? The easy answer is I'm not 100% sure yet. We're gonna have to look at the orders. One thing I will mention is we are dealing with some warmer temperatures today. Uh, the high temperatures are gonna be creeping up into the 80s which I don't mind working in. I put the shorts on today. I'm gonna make one more round, check on everything down around here, make sure the animals are all good to go, and then we're on to our next job. So the first job I was given for today was actually a special one because Callie's coming with me. Alrighty, Callie, we made it out to the fields. What are we gonna be picking today? Kawabi. We've had a lot of people coming into the farm market and asking us, when are you gonna be picking kohlrabi? When is the kohlrabi gonna be ready? Well, today is that day. First thing she said to me when we get here is, can I eat kohlrabi before we get started? Yeah. So I've gotta slice up some kohlrabi. Look at this corn. What do you think of that corn? We could pick it? Not yet, but is it beautiful? Yeah. Yeah, good. How's it taste? Good? Awesome. Yeah, I'll cut the leaves off in a minute. I'm still pulling them out of the ground. I just asked Callie if she wanted to help me pull some kohlrabi out of the ground and you know what she told me? That's okay, I'm eating. Now with our kohlrabi, when we're cultivating it and taking care of it, we don't want the dirt to rest on the head itself. So we try and make sure that the dirt comes right up to the root base. This makes it a lot easier when you're pulling the kohlrabi and it helps to keep it looking really, really nice. Now we are gonna be taking these outer leaves off. We're gonna be cutting off our root and then putting it into our basket shortly. I want another kohlrabi. You want more? Yeah. You just ate one. You wanna eat another one? Yeah. All right. I'm just fine. You're gonna find one? Okay, cool. You're going the wrong way. Where does kohlrabi come from? It came from the ground. You saw me pick it for you. So this is pretty self-explanatory. We take that root off and then we go through and cut these leaves off. Now, there are some people who like to keep the leaves on them. We personally do not 
there is a market for some that want to buy the leaves, but in our local area, we don't seem to have that market. So what we like to do is take the leaves off and we will leave them in the field. And what that will do is essentially act as composting the leaves. It's like adding fertilizer back into our soil. There's a lobby over there. Yeah. Our dad taught us that a lot of the fertilizers that these plants need are actually found in the leaves themselves. So by leaving the leaves in the field, Dada. we're helping to uh, fertilize. Yes, Daddy, darling. Yes. Should we pick them? Yeah, we're gonna pick them. Don't worry. But we gotta take these ones we have on the ground first. On to the next spot. What would you say is your favorite thing to pick on the farm? No. You don't know? Do you like picking tomatoes? Do you like picking tomatoes or do you like eating tomatoes? Mm -hmm. Do you like eating tomatoes? Mm -hmm. You doing your whole Robbie dance? These want to grow? Yeah, they were growing. The ones not ready yet? Uh, the ones that are still on the ground aren't ready yet. These just got ready. We were out here the other day looking at them, remember? They weren't big enough yet, but now they're big enough. I want another one. You want another one? Alrighty. The kohlrabi that we're harvesting today, it is a little on the young side. Um, I, a lot of the older folks prefer to have kohlrabi that's a little smaller. Um, the older varieties of kohlrabi, they would get a really, I, wanna, I don't want to use the word tough, but they'd say a woody flavor to the larger kohlrabi as they matured more. So many of the older folks in the area like them on the smaller side. Now it takes more to fill a basket, but we sell a lot more when they're a little bit smaller. So what we'll end up doing is try and pick them a little earlier on. But uh, if we do have larger kohlrabi, we've been encouraging a lot of the older ones to try them. Just try them once, uh, the newer varieties don't seem to be as um, woody as they start to get more mature. So I think it's been working with some, but we still got to get others to try it. I just got my second basket of kohlrabi picked. Now, dad told me when I went out here to look and see if I could find any broccoli that was ready to cut. I've been looking through our broccoli here and I haven't seen anything. The broccoli plants look really, really nice and I am starting to notice heads beginning to form, but nothing that's ready to cut. So that's kind of a bummer. We wanted some fresh broccoli, but when you look at this field, it is massive. We're gonna have lots of broccoli sooner rather than later. Kohlrabi is picked, no broccoli to grab. Callie is up here with what? What do you have? Kohlrabi. Yeah, kohlrabi. Oh. She wants to eat it. So we're gonna get her sliced up some kohlrabi and we're gonna get this stuff back to the farm. Tell Uncle Matt what you got. Kohlrabi. As you can see, my dad, Matthew, and Daniel came out to the fields. They are working on picking tomatoes. I want to get out here and help them, but I really need to get this stuff back to the farm. So we're running back. Here's the kohlrabi that we just ran through the washer. It looks absolutely beautiful. We're gonna get this moved into the farm market. The girls are gonna start selling it and I need to head back out on my way to the tomato field. I've made it out to the field where the boys are picking. They've got a beautiful amount of tomatoes on the wagon already. They look absolutely stunning. And then over here, they've already got one, two, three, four, five, six baskets filled and every single one of them is just flying through a row. What do we think, boys? How do the tomatoes look? Tomatoes look good. Gorgeous. So the tomatoes look good. They look gorgeous. What do you think? I think it's the nicest tomatoes I ever picked. Wait a minute. You're old. You've picked tomatoes for a very long time. Are you sure the nicest you've ever picked? Look at these things. <laughs> look at them. I'm not that old. Oh, yeah. First tomato. Perfect. I don't care if they're as long as they're right. Look at that juicy tomato. 
Wow. Now for us, it normally takes a little bit longer to fill a basket of round tomatoes because we like to make sure that we pull off the top of the tomato. And the reason why we do that is for when we put them into the baskets, it doesn't punch holes into any of the other tomatoes. So because of that reason, it takes a little bit longer to pick these. However, when the tomatoes are as large as they are today, um, yeah, it doesn't take that long. I mean, we've filled a basket in probably 30 seconds here. It's just when tomatoes look this nice and you have so many, this is one of the best jobs you can have on the farm. I will say when tomatoes are nice like this, this is my favorite job. There's nothing else uh, that I look forward to more than picking some darn near perfect tomatoes off the vine. What a beautiful day. What are you smiling down there for, Dad? What's got you so excited? I love picking tomatoes. <laughs> they are my favorite thing to pick this year. This is a nice change of pace from last year because I remember last year us discussing that that might have been one of our worst tomato crops that we've had in a very, very long time. Fast forward to this year, we're saying the opposite. I don't know what the case is. I don't know if it's the weather or uh, the ground that we put our tomatoes on this year or whatever the case. I'm uh, very happy with these tomatoes. And if we continue to get tomatoes like this, we're gonna have no trouble selling them. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I hope frost never comes. So let's pick tomatoes forever. I'm saying that now, but probably after about a thousand more tomato baskets this year, I'll be saying otherwise. These are the tomatoes you see in magazines. This is just crazy. Perfect tomatoes. These black bugs flying around me. I must be sweet. Yep. We've got our wagon completely full of beautiful tomatoes. We're now gonna be taking this stuff back to the farm, running it all through the washer, and then we're gonna be sorting it. We're gonna be sorting them into canning tomatoes, our number ones, and we're also gonna be sorting them into pinks, or basically tomatoes that aren't ready to sell. We just got all the tomatoes sorted. We've got a few tomatoes here that are gonna have to sit for a while, but we've also got a few tomatoes here that we can run through the washer and sort again. Now, the interesting thing is, we've got an entire wagon full of tomatoes. Now, I think there's 10 baskets of number ones on here, and then the rest are all for canning. We're expecting a big canning weekend, and yeah, we needed the tomatoes, that's for sure. I got so excited about lunch, I started eating. Didn't even mention what we're having. Hot dogs today. I love hot dogs. To get our afternoon kicked off, we made our way back out to the fields and we are gonna be using the bean harvester. We need a few yellow beans. We also need a few green beans. So that's where we're off to. Normally we'd pick all three types of beans, but we still have plenty of the Italian flat beans back at home and we don't need to get any more picked off the plants just yet. The uh, beans seem to hold really well on the plant itself. So we're just gonna let them be for now.
harvesting the green beans right now as I speak, but I wanted to show you how large some of these plants are. Look at the beans on there. Wow, they've like completely fallen over. There we go, we got three large boxes full of beans. We also were able to get one, two, three, extra bushel of green beans. Then we got three bushel of yellow beans. We picked a lot of beans out of this field behind me here. And we've also had some other fields that we've picked out of. But one thing to keep in mind is we are getting to the later planting. So we have one more planting left to go. But with the cooler nights, we're concerned it's not gonna be ready to harvest. So if it never gets to the point where we're gonna be able to harvest it, we will lose that crop. But this patch of beans that we've been in, we've picked a lot out of it. And we've probably got about one more picking and then we're done with it. It's crazy to think that we've already gone through our plantings of beans for the year. And it's just wild. Times are changing, fall's on its way. At least we still have, you know, tomatoes, peppers, some other stuff to pick. We still got sweet corn. Thank goodness we still got sweet corn. When sweet corn's done, then you really feel like the year's over. Speaking of sweet corn, dad is checking out the patches of sweet corn that we have here. This is yellow and white corn. Um, last time we picked, we had to pick a bin of white corn. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna wait and see what he has to say. Hopefully we can pick it. If not, we're just gonna have to get white corn again. So what's the word, Pop Pop? Is it ready? Um, It's close. I think we'll pick enough. We've been able to pick enough out of there to get through the weekend. Yeah, it's young. You can tell it's young, but it still looks like a beautiful ear. Yeah, we'll be able. We'll have to just be selective. Well, what happened? Where's all the sweet corn going? Don't tell me people are buying it. You gonna keep enough in the farm market? Oh my goodness. We've got so many problems around here. As you can see, we're going through and harvesting pickling cucumbers right now. Um, they are a little light on this end of the field. We'll find more at the other end of the field, but we still gotta pick these spots. We're finding quite a few here, but it's not near as much as what we'd harvested uh, during the middle part of the summer or basically peak harvest for pickling cucumbers. Whatever we find is a bonus here though because the, the opposite end is finding nothing. So whatever we'll take, we'll use and we'll definitely be able to sell it because we still have people showing up and asking for pickling cucumbers. We just went through and picked all of the zucchini. So we've got nice zucchini on here, pickling cucumbers, and we also went through the cucumber rows. Now the regular cucumbers, there wasn't much there, but everything else looked really, really good. We need to fill up our wagon though. We still got empty space on that. And you know how we feel about taking half full wagons home. We're running over here to grab some peppers.
No, we don't. No. We were doing a little bit of math and we figured out we don't have enough baskets to fill up our wagon. So Daniel was running back to grab some baskets for the wagon. And uh, we moved ourselves over to where the long hots are at. So we're going to be harvesting some long hots. Matthew is grabbing one more basket of hot cherry. And then depending on what we need back at the farm, that's what we'll fill the wagon up with. I think we're going to be harvesting some bell peppers. We left our wagon over by where the bell peppers are because when we're loading up for today, uh, we can just grab them over there. We don't even need to drive the wagon all over the place. So we're trying to be uh, efficient and proactive. So we left the wagon where we were. We moved a few of the peppers onto the wagon and then on the back of the side by side we have a few hot cherry here and some more long hots. Now we're going to move places over to the bell peppers and get all of them picked. Just got the wagon all filled up. Now we are gonna take it back to the farm. We're gonna run everything in the washer and get it all sorted. We got our stuff all washed and sorted. We got our wagon all filled up. Matthew's carrying up two baskets and I'm carrying up one basket of zucchini. Just be careful with some of this corn, guys. This is young corn, but it needs to be picked. Yeah. We just got finished going through the fields, grabbing all the sweet corn we could. Stuff is still just a little on the younger side. So we're gonna stop picking for now and we'll uh, maybe pick some more further into the weekend or maybe on Monday. But for now, we're done picking sweet corn. You know what's the worst? When at the end of the day, when working all day, you go over to get in your side by side to go home and you realize you parked it right next to the sprinklers. So now your butt's all wet.
It's a good day. Alrighty, everybody. We are at home. We just got finished having some pizza. My mom and dad came over. They're holding babies. Well, they were holding babies. Now we're getting ready for bed, right? Right? Yeah, we're getting ready for bed. Since it is pretty late, this does mean this is where the video is going to be ending. We would like to thank everybody for watching. We hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.